Hi there, it's Life Prep here. If you want to eat healthier, one of the routes is bone broth, of course. But I'm going to tell you something. Else. Make your own. Don't. I, I bought, store bought. For the cost, I want to tell you, this is homemade turkey broth, turkey bone broth. And in here, I have got a celery, bell pepper, I mean celery, bell peppers, and onions in here that I've cooked into it. I've added some um, seasoning in it, and it's just really, really, it tastes really wonderful. Now, I made up several jars of it. It's in the refrigerator. All I got to do is just simply pour it into a bowl, heat it up into a pan or whatever, and I have this nice, wonderful meal. It does take a lot of time. Now, there's so many recipes out there. I'm just not going to worry about posting one for it, but I want to just tell you basically it, there's different ways of doing it. If uh, some people roast the bones before they put them into the container, some of them put scraps into it. Now, I like to uh, save my vegetables, so I dice them up pretty well, and then I, I strain I strain the vegetable. When I when I start taking the bones out, I take the vegetables out with it into a strainer, and then I put the bones separate, and then I put the vegetables and everything into another container, and then I will go through it again to make sure I get all the bones out while I'm putting my vegetables inside the jars. Now, it lasts for quite a while in the refrigerator. Um, if you want a pressure can, you can. I don't have a pressure canner. I wish I did. So, if I had a pressure canner, I would be pressure canning it right now. But I don't. But this is for my meals. Uh, this is made for me to do, last for at least... I, I've got like two large ones and like eight of the pint jars. So... So that's a good amount. But make your own bone broth. If you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to eat healthier, you've got collagen in this. You've got countless health benefits. And it's a lot better than going to the store and buying bone broth and spending a small fortune. It takes a lot of time. It took me um, around 12 hours of cooking and on the stove. Now what I did is I, I once it reached a, uh, started to reach a boil, I didn't want to really get it boiling. I just wanted when it started to. And then I turned it down lower to about four or five. And it depends upon your stove. I let it continue to cook for a while. And then I cut it down on low. And I left it like that. And then later on in the day, one, the next morning, I got up and heated it up a little bit hotter just to bring a little more temperature. And it took about 12 hours to make it. So it can take anywhere from 12 to 24 hours depending upon what you're doing. Make your own bone broth. Make your own soup. You can turn around and add all this into other ingredients. It's so much healthier. It's so much better. Check the recipes out online. There's so many different varieties of it. You can add whatever you want into it. It tastes wonderful. It's uh, cost efficient. You think about it. I, I used the turkey bones I had left. I used, excuse me, I used turkey neck. I used some, threw some gizzards in there. I threw um, a little bit of meat in there. It was still on the bones. I threw all that in there. Now the skin, I removed the skin. I don't leave the, the skin in it. I remove the skin because that's, I don't want all that excess fat to it. And another thing you need to do is I strain it. I, I, I restrain all my broth to another strainer to get rid of any of the excess gunk, as you put it. Uh, season it to your own taste. I, I just put pepper and some uh, basic sea salt in it. And then I put some uh, oregano I had in it for some good overall flavor. It tastes wonderful. That there with uh, the onions and, and bell peppers and everything in it will continue to add the flavors into it. All that just loaded it with nutrition. You got health from the bell peppers. You got health from the onions. You got health from the celery you got health from the pepper and all these other ingredients plus the turkey all the uh, collagen you're going to get it's good about aging help with your aging it, um, it's good for rebuilding your immune system and everything so it's just so many countless benefits make your own bone broth and feel better about it like i said this is not high in calories it's not it really is not it's not high in calories uh i think a cup might have just the broth by itself may have 35 calories in it so this is quite a bit but even if i sit down and i eat all of this 
which I wouldn't be able to, but I'm just saying, if I did, even with the vegetables, because all the vegetables are low cal, uh, you would figure here, I might have what, three, maybe 400 calories in this whole big thing. So, you, uh, a pint jar, I probably got maybe 100 calories, maybe, maybe, for a pint jar that's a decent sized bowl on it. So, make your own stuff, research it, and it's a lot better for you as I'm getting healthier and I'm doing things, and I do learn from things, making your own stuff is a lot better than just going to the store and buying all the pre-made because especially if you want to get away from all this uh processed stuff all the ingredients and all this stuff to preserve it make your own this is live prepper here saying be safe be happy bless you all